This is a revised version of a video tutorial on how to insert images or photographs into a post here on the fog. I was not happy with the video quality of the first one, so I decided to try again. We probably get more questions on how to insert images into a post versus any of the other functions of the forum. So just as a picture can be easier to understand than words, hopefully this video will be even more helpful than the numerous pictures or screenshots or posts uh, on this topic. What I try and tell people to do is plan uh, just a little bit before you get going. Um, I always advise people to go ahead and set up a separate folder on your computer uh, to contain the photographs or images that you're going to be inserting or using. And then also to go ahead and once you copy images into that folder, rename those files. I do it picture one, two, three, etc. Uh, that makes it a lot easier for me to know once I start to do the actual posting and inserting images, what order they're going to go into, and it also makes um, attaching them in and inserting them a little bit easier. So without further ado, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to be replying to this post. Uh, after I get done with this, we'll post it, and then I'll end up deleting it because I don't want it to muddy up the waters. And then I'll come back with the final version after the after YouTube uploads it. So I'm going to hit reply, and now we're here with a typical screen for most of you. And the first step you go is to go down. I, the first step I recommend is go down to additional options. Click on that. This is where we're going to actually attach the files. And attaching is different than inserting. Uh, attaching is the first step. I always do this first just to get it over and done with. Uh, if you only have one image that you're going to insert, uh, click choose file. If you have more than one, then you click more attachments. I'm only going to insert two. If I wanted to have three, I would click more attachments again. Down here you're going to find the allowed file types and the maximum size. The maximum size of all of them in one post as well as the maximum number of attachments in one post. Uh, pay attention to that. From time to time there may be changes on the forum and that this this verbiage would change. So what I tend to do is get this part over and done with. So I'm going to choose my first picture or image. Uh, select it. Hit choose. Uh, you may see different button types if you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, but basically it's the same thing. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the second one, hit choose, and that's really about the most difficult thing you have to do. So now we're going to come up to the text box, and I'm just going to do some sample text. And now I'm going to insert my first image. And to do that, you come up here to this box where it says insert inline image. You click there and then there you have several choices. Uh, I normally insert mine full size. Uh, some people like thumbnails. It's personal preference. I like to see the bigger picture. The forum software will resize to some degree. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it and notice that it has gotten rid of the blank line that I had. Uh, it will do this every time. So I'm going to insert that. I think it makes it a little bit easier to have the separation between the text and the photograph or image. And now we're going to do it again. And so we'll just type sample text again. And we're going to go ahead and insert the second. Once again, you go up here, insert inline image, full size, it took away my blank line and I'm going to put it back. And now if you had more you would repeat the whole process. Now by if you remember when I said I do mine picture one two three uh, etc it saves me a step because if I had it as its full name um, 
or not in the order that I was going to be posting, then I would have to be replacing this number sign with a number. Uh, so it might be image number two if it was the second one. So doing them in order saves you a little bit of time, makes it easier. If you've done everything, now it's time to just preview and post. It's that simple. So if we hit the preview, you're going to come up to the preview box and you're going to see that your pictures, your images are not here. Well, that's because they're still on your hard drive. They've never been uploaded um, to, the, to the forum. And that'll happen when you post. So right now, they're just sitting here. Uh, everything looks to be in order. I don't need to do any changes. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit post. And we will see what ends up happening. Well, looky there. It's done. I've got my sample text again. And that's it. That's all we had to do. I hope you find this a little bit easier. I'll go ahead and remove this post now. And thank you for, thank you for watching.